got the plenums off for a thermostat and we're seeing some very suspect wiring here. Aftermarket run from here, zip tied to the math harness down here underneath the air filter box, and then coming up the frame rail and into the DME box, zip tied to the factory harness. Some of you already know what this is. This is the Vanos pressure accumulator that's been retrofitted to this 2000 M5. And instead of following a factory route, into the electronics box, through the little bridge, down through there, up through the hose, and into the DME box. Yes, that's a pain in the rear, but it's the proper way to do it. We'll be sorting that out shortly. It's Tuesday night, we're having dinner. It was a leftover night uh, from Sunday. We had Kevin and Brittany and Kevin and Larissa over, so leftover steak and salad that was actually really good. The key there is keep the croutons out of the refrigerator, otherwise they turn into Tide Pods. It's like a really soft, awful texture, so you gotta keep the bread out of the fridge. That's done, today's done. It was a crazy busy day. A lot of emails and phone calls. I'm talking to the insurance adjuster for the one car. Um, got the supplement approved, got the parts ordered. Most of it's coming in tomorrow. Some of it has to come from the East Coast, so it's gonna be a few days. Um, I desperately need a shower and shave. So that is upcoming shortly here before bed. Signed up some new business today, got a new client. Guy just bought an M5, uh, which is exciting. It's gonna come down from Sacramento here in a few weeks. And then a return repeat customer. We're still dealing with issues with his fuel system without getting into it too hard here. Um, the initial issue we had was it was dying at a half a tank. So we replaced the, the Venturi hose in there in the tank. And that seems to have taken care of that issue. Now at 234 miles on the tripodometer since the last fill up, he's seeing the fuel level at an eighth or a quarter tank and it's dying. 234 miles and I, I tend to think this customer may drive the car a little bit hard, is about a full tank on an M5 in stop and go city kind of traffic. So my guess is that driver or that passenger side level sender next to the fuel pump is sticking as it gets towards the bottom. So the, the gauge stops, but it's still consuming fuel. Um, and that has not yet been replaced on that car. 160,000 miles on an 01 Tyag M1 SW car. Um, so that's going to be my recommendation. I'll write that up and send that off to him tonight. Hopefully he gets an approval in tomorrow sometime. We can be a quick in and out on that car. Um, Alan's making great progress on the Anthracite 2000. We're at 42% on that car in less than a week. It's incredible. He's done the whole front and rear axle suspension. The driveline comes out next. Uh, brakes got done today. Brake, um, the, the stainless hoses and a fluid flush. Uh, radiators done, cooling systems done. He is going to have us redo the electrical wiring. It's a 2000, so it didn't come with a Banos pressure accumulator. So it's got someone retrofit it, but instead of running the wires up through the proper um, engine electrical box harnesses and over to the DME box, they just did a separate conduit over to the box. It's really nasty and it's zip tied to everything. It looks like shit. So he approved correcting that today. We'll be taking care of that later in the week. Anyways, 9.30, I'm going to get to bed early, hit tomorrow hard. I'll talk on Wednesday already, hope day. Night.